Uh, this is a uh, worked in corporate environment with uh, armpit wet. You know, this is where the lip nodes are, and if your kidneys aren't filtering, your armpits will. <laughs> and of course, depending what you're eating is what you're smelling. A lot of people have a lot of decayed protein in their bodies, and they're going to stink until they can get their lip system clean, and then you're going to smell like the food you're eating. And so, once you get your kidneys filtering, you won't sweat under the arm so much. You, you will stop over sweating if you over sweat. If you under sweat, that's the thyroid gland, and it shows that your uh, the thyroid is not getting you enough body temperature to sweat. And that would be important for you there. If I'm going fast, forgive me, but uh, I've got so many of these to get through, and I don't want to make these too long for you because I'm probably boring you by now. Um, this this gentleman and I, I like this guy. He's sending me a lot of things. The water full, full of love. Uh, listen, you're a good guy here, man. Uh, yeah, body temperature 96 to 97, too low. Thyroid, you need to be 97 to 98. So uh, actually, give me a 97.5 in today's world. Anything below 97.5 is a little hypothyroidism. And when you get down to 96s, you're getting more chronic. In the uh, low 96s, upper 95s, you're going to get scoliosis in time because the parathyroids are involved in that, in that, that level of suppression there. Uh, and this is another thing with you. You bruise easy, and here's the thigh, and you got the hemorrhoids. You're exactly right. You've got low thyroid and parathyroid, so you're not utilizing your calcium. And when you lose calcium to acids, you need to put it back at least. And if you don't, this is what you see: the bruising easy, and and uh, the hemorrhoids, and the loss of connective tissue in your body. And connective tissue holds everything together. So you get hernias or aneurysms or prolapses and bulging. And, and women, your your bladder and your uterus start sagging down. So work on that parathyroid. I don't know what herbs are good for the parathyroid outside of the berries. Berries are good for all the endocrine glands, but that's is where a glandular of a parathyroid tissue probably would do you good here uh, with this problem. Uh, now, again, you might consider the pituitary there. Uh, if you have any stunted growth or you have any uh, pigmentation changes in the skin, a uh, few things like that you might consider pituitary. But I think in, if you go on a thyroid and a parathyroid glandular, I think this is going to be excellent to help you bring this up because you want to stop that bruising easy. That's real important. Uh, I've seen a lot of aneurysms in my life, and uh, you just want to strengthen up all this, my friend. Uh, frequent urination, muscle joint pains. Yeah, I mean, depression is your parathyroid. Uh, your joint pain, of course, that's your lymph system. Your adrenals are down. So you have several endocrine gland problems here, which are common. Don't get upset. Uh, very common. Uh, so uh, you want to, and you're paying a lot of sports. I'd probably cool that down a little bit until I got my kidneys filtering the lymph, or you're going to feel more joint pain, joint pain, and then start to lose your joints. Your synovial fluids will dry up in your knees because you're creating acids you can't get rid of. So definitely, my friend, take care uh, of yourself in that way. Get your kidneys filtering. Get the adrenals up to get that to happen at the same time. So you got several endocrine glands here that uh, could be problematic. So you might think about hitting the pituitary a little bit along with this. Uh, sounds like you got a little prostatitis going on here too, but that's just a reflection of the kidney weakness there. Um, I forget what surgery you're going to go through, but. Uh, uh, Surgery doesn't fix nothing. I mean, it does remove some essential uh, destroyed tissue sometimes, which I'm not opposed to that for mastectomies or lumpectomies. There's always uh, room for great surgeons. I love great surgeons. They've done wonders. So I applaud you guys with that. But I'm talking about the, uh, the people that are using drugs to hurt people. Um, but uh, uh, still, if you can avoid surgery, you can repair and regenerate tissue. Now, sometimes if your gallbladder is literally soup or your appendix is soup, you're going to have to have it removed. It's all you can do. Sometimes the uterus has fibroids so big that the amount of work to take to get that out of there, sometimes it's better to have a hysterectomy. It will relieve some energy and then let you go on. And I think that you have to get with that sort of thing. The same thing with breasts. If we have tumors way too big, we pull some with black salve and had tumors come out this big. But um, we don't do that anymore. It, it is better to have a mastectomy and, and then fix the cause problem to that. 
uh, because I've had people that, no, we're not going to do it, Master, we're not going to do it, not going to do it, not going to do it, and then they, they died because they didn't listen. And we, we, we kept telling them, you know, when you have tumors too big, uh, don't be stupid. You know, we, you just waited too long, uh, you didn't have access to that, and said, okay, it's just a body part, it isn't you anyway. So, you know, I, I hope I'm, I'm, I come across somewhat balanced to you because uh, there are times when we need the medical community. There are times, and if we all hold hands, we quit hurting people with pharmaceuticals, and we start holding these pharmaceutical companies responsible for putting out deadly toxic supplements or, or pharmaceuticals, drugs, uh, then, then that, but no one's holding them responsible. These aren't wonder drugs. The wonder is already here. The wonder isn't in the future. The wonder's already here. The botanicals have been here for thousands and thousands of years. So the wonder's already here. It, it, it now is a, a, a slaughter machine or something. I, I see some of these drugs and I can't believe the FDA is really seriously letting these drugs on the market. There is no percentage amount of deaths that are acceptable. Let me ask the FDA, if my herbal formula has killed one person, is that okay? How about if my herbal formula is out of 100, eh, 10 percent, 10 people, is that acceptable? What would be acceptable in my herbal formulas of how many people would die from using them? What, what acceptance level would that be? Or they develop lymphomas or they develop some serious, serious problems. What, what level of that is acceptable? None. None of that is acceptable. So, you know, this is the problem. We haven't held these people accountable. And the rich protect the rich. So we've got to smarten ourselves up, guys. This lady, uh, gentleman, uh, Cindy. Hi, honey. Uh, you're on week seven and eight of the detox kit. Thank you for, for trying those on. Uh, I really uh, applaud you. You've got some good things you're saying about here. This is the good one about breaking down and, and releasing the emotions. And, 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 and you haven't been doing this for years, and you came out of this. And Thank you, Cindy. You guys are good. Now, you've awakened your spirituality. Isn't this cool? I mean, I was just talking to a lady. She couldn't believe the herbs were awakening her spirituality. That is cool. That is cool stuff. So we're all a part of that big focus of God to awaken itself in this level. Uh, let's keep going. That sounds good. And uh, I think that's about it. Uh, this person has some restless leg syndrome at night when they do fruit and things. Hmm, interesting. Uh, then don't eat just fruit then. Cut down on that. Uh, probably real strong on the kidneys, and the kidneys control the lower back. Uh, kidneys are L4, L5, are the vertebrae that controls the kidneys, so to speak. That, that's that channel of nerve ganglias and things, so, and blood and lymph. So that L4, L5, you're always going to see L4 and L5 break down on you when you have kidney weakness. And uh, you could be seeing some of that uh, as the, because uh, fruits are very aggressive on the lymphatic system. Outside of that, I couldn't tell you. You could use some castor oil on the lower back. You could use an antispasmodic. But if you need to cut back and do some vegetables for a while, you'll fix this and then move on. I'd take a kidney formula, a lymphatic formula, those two. You can use the antispasmodic if you're having too much of a restless leg. But again, all that inflammation or acidosis is backing up from the kidneys to the L4, L5, the lower back, and then it spreads and, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Swells the spine, compresses or, or, or herniates the discs, and it goes on and on like that. You might have a chiropractor look at you there in the lower back and, and see what he finds for you. Well, I think I'm caught up. So I really uh, I thank you again so much. I rant and rave sometimes, so forgive me. Uh, I appreciate it if you bear me out. Uh, uh, again, if you sit behind, behind this desk for all these years, you start to uh, you know pull your hair out at the, at, the, at the insanity of what's out there in both the natural health field, actually, and, and in the medical community. And I think it's time that all of us practitioners and all you guys learn to be practitioners. We start holding hands and changing the way the world sees health. And I tell you, we'll make a strong planet and the consciousness will be elevated. Now, I don't know if that's meant to be, but if it is, it shall happen. So thank you, dear ones. Have a great night and I appreciate you watching the videos again. Thank you from the staff and me. Bye-bye.